Uh, so they've got four and a half furlongs to go, and it's Fiador the leader. Out by five. In second spot is Kaneko, and they're a good 15 lengths in front of Thankless from Freud's Vale, and Shinebox is last as they run into the uh, whatever turn this is. I can't count that high. It's Fiador the leader, and he's about eight lengths in front now. He's ten lengths in front of Kaneko. A long gap in the field. I can't keep these in the binoculars. Thankless is a mile back in third, and then comes Freud's Vale and Shinebox. But by golly, as they run to the quarter pole, and a Theodore must be a good 20 lengths in front of Kaneko, about 30 lengths farther back to uh, Thankless from Freud's Vale and Shinebox, but at the top of the... This could win by a furlong, Theodore. Theodore's running down to the furlong pole, and how far in front is he? This is, this is the biggest win I've ever seen at Mountaineer. It might be the biggest win I've ever seen anywhere. It might be the biggest win anybody's ever seen anywhere. Theodore. I don't know what this could be. This could be, uh, what, 40? 50? Let's make it 50 lengths over Kaneko and about 40 lengths back to Thankless. Shinebox. And the Freud's Vale is going to knock up and finish last. About a quarter of a mile from the winner, Theodore. History in the making at Mountaineer. The running time for the two and a quarter miles appears to be 3.58 flat. 3.58. And the winner was number 1A, Theodore, written by Charlie Oliveros. Probably the biggest win in Waterford Park slash Mountaineer history. Second place to number eight, Kaneko, written by Luis Rivera. And third, number four, Thankless, written by Christian Polaris. Numbers are one, eight and four.